The Cube at EMC World 2014 is brought to you by EMC. Redefine. VCE. Innovating the world's first converged infrastructure solution for private cloud computing. Brocade. Say goodbye to the status quo and hello to Brocade. We're back to EMC World coverage. This is Stu Miniman with Wikibon.org. SiliconANGLE TV's live can continue is covered from EMC World 2014. Uh, digging into a segment now is near and dear to my heart, talking about converged infrastructure, uh, and uh, I've got Gary Garcia from the EMC vSpecs group. Uh, Gary, uh, first time on theCUBE, I believe? It is the first time. Hey, so happy you could join us, thanks. You're the Director of Global Solutions Marketing uh, with EMC vSpecs. Uh, the, 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 the Cube, you know, loves talking to vSpecs. We were there at the, the the product launch uh, in San Francisco in April of 2012. Wow. Uh, ha have watched closely everything going on there, and you guys had a nice mention in the keynote this morning. That's right. Uh, thanks, Stu. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a great ride. Uh, uh, VSpecs has captured a lot of people's attention because it solves a lot of real-world problems. Um, it's got a lot of utility. Yeah, it's interesting. I, you know, I think back to when, when the product launched, there was a lot of questions. It's like, oh, this is a reaction to EMC and Cisco, or you know going to fight. Well, VCE's doing well, and Cisco is, is a major partner of vSpecs. Um, and so, you know, th there was a lot of questions of what vSpecs is um, and what vSpecs isn't. So, I want to give us an update. You know, where, where, what's, where's the business stand? So, at, at the heart of the matter, uh, vSpecs is a solution. It, it, it is uh, an infrastructure reference architecture. It is converged infrastructure that's delivered uh, and integrated uh, by our channel partners, so value-added resellers who have a relationship with people who are actually trying to get work done, trying to solve real-world problems. They have, they, they have insight into what needs to, to be built to actually solve real-world problems, and so they can use vSpecs and the reference architect, architecture to, uh, to integrate um, EMC storage uh, with, with a number of different technologies from a number of different providers to uh, and partners to, um, to, to, to actually go from idea to offering very quickly and while reducing the risk of integration uh, for the IT practitioners. Yeah, so, you know, the adoption of convergence, you know, is, go is going pretty well. Right. You know, some of the biggest challenges is changing the mindsets, both for not only the end user, they have to change how they purchase it, they have to change how they manage it, uh, all their expectations, the channel themselves, you know, there, there's a rejiggering of, you know, who does what in the value chain. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, you know, maybe let, let's start with the customers first and then maybe we can tackle the channel. What, what, what's your take on how are we doing with, you know, that, that change of mindset? Has it been significant or how, how far have we moved along from a customer standpoint? You know, when, when, when convert, I, I remember way back in, in the mid 90s, people were trying to do converged infrastructures and it was difficult because a lot of the um, technologies really hadn't matured enough to where they played well together. We're at an interesting point now with the advent of uh, virtualization that, that it, it is much easier for the technologies to play well together. And so IT practitioners uh, have a demand to deliver uh, to the business much faster. Converged infrastructure offers them uh, a mechanism to do that. And, and so there's both the appetite and the opportunity on the, on the IT practitioner side. From the channel provider's perspective, this, this is uh, a great opportunity to both meet customers' needs, but reduce the risk in the sales cycle. Because if they're building their own infrastructures, if they're building and, and consulting with IT practitioners to solve these problems, they're taking a lot on a lot of responsibility. And nothing against them, they're, they're quite capable of doing that. But it's just so much faster if you, if you can aggregate all of the knowledge of the industry, all of the people who've done BDI, learn from all of those experiences, boil it down into one solution that can be delivered very quickly, now they're adding value to the IT practitioners and to their customers much, much faster. And then for someone like EMC, you know, data storage by itself, you know, I'm fascinated by the technology, I love it, but let's face it, it's got to work to serve some purpose. It's got to serve applications. And so by having this um, converged infrastructure strategy, it allows us to partner with a number of technology partners that make the breadth of the solution so much broader than what we could do on our own. And so, you know, being able to have uh, vSpecs as a program allows us to attract technology partners. I think you'll talk to some of them uh, up in the next coming sections. Uh, that allows the, the solution to solve niche problems and some very big specialty uh, problems in different markets that maybe we wouldn't get to 
uh, if we were trying to do it all on our own. Yeah. So that's the importance there. So, you know, when, when VSpecs first launched, you know, it was a, a small number yeah. of actually technology partners. Um, you guys launched, I think it's called a, like VSpecs Lab Validated. You've got, uh, you know, various levels of integration that you do. Um, fr from a technology standpoint, how many different offerings are there in the VSpecs? Uh, uh, I, I think there's 24 different reference architectures out there. I think we're announcing another five here at the show. Um, we're even including things like uh, a scale I.O. in the solution. You know, it's been VNX. We announced a VNX-E as part of the uh, VSpecs uh, family here at the show. Uh, and now, uh, soon there'll be a scale I.O. solution that's coming out. So, a lot of technologies just within our own portfolio. And then, uh, as far as our technology partners, uh, VSpecs has been used, you know, in the real world by real channel partners solving real world problems with customers. So, it has played well with, um, just about everything you can think of out there in the market, and that's the, the power of the flexibility. There's a place for a more packaged solution, and some people need that, but if you need something that's tailor-made for a customer's application while reducing the risk and using the, all the experience of the market, while playing well with what's, what's in a customer's real-world data center, uh, you can't beat VSpecs, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's just, it's just what the doctor ordered, right? It's, you know, it's so, built for that. So, I mean, one of the biggest challenges out there is, you know, you want flexibility, but you need standardization. Um, and, you know, the, the, the biggest challenge of the past is, I would build a bespoke architecture for an application. Yep. And the poor administrative team would spend all their time tweaking the dials and getting everything ready for to go up and down the stack to make sure it works. Virtualization changed a lot of that and convergence is driving that more. So how, how do you balance between, I want to be able to handle multiple workloads, but I want to be able to have reliable performance uh, you know, for you know, my mission critical pieces, my, you know, uh, did, did my question make sense? No, is, you it know, totally that, makes that balance? sense. Yeah, and, and, and so you'll notice like, uh, those of you who are like, uh, familiar with VSpecs, you know that there are a number of reference architectures that speak to single applications. Uh, just, uh, uh, I think six weeks ago, we, we brought up forth a, a both a sizing tool and a, a reference architecture that integrates multiple applications and, and shows best practices for running multiple applications in the same infrastructure. This one happened to be a, a suite of Microsoft applications on the vSpecs. But, you know, the power of the solution, you know, all the stuff that EMC delivers is good. Where it gets really good, though, is when we have uh, our technology partners, people like eGenera, their cloud management partner, right? Validated on and proven in vSpecs labs. A and they can manage this infrastructure as if it were a private cloud. Or Vistara, you're going to talk to them later. Um, their uh, software as a service management platform manage applications, right? And they can, so not only is vSpecs capable of hosting multiple applications, not only do we have the sizing and the availability and the best practices to deploy these applications, we also have partners that allow us to go even higher in the stack and begin managing these applications as if they were services, which in the end is what business wants, right? The CEO probably doesn't really care about how the cabling's run. They want it to be neat, they want it to be reliable but they want to consume the service. So, uh, you, you make me laugh because, you know, when I think about eGenera actually, eGenera actually's headquarters used to be right next door to where Wikibon is. Mm -hmm. It's in Marlboro, Massachusetts. Um, and their original business value was to build a hardware platform that got rid of your cabling. And they were one of the early, early kind of converge solutions when early blade servers were coming out. And now they're a software company. So, the question I have for you, of course, is that, you know, there's all, you know, it, you know we know software is eating the world. And so, you know, w you know, how does vSpecs, you know, continue to add the value um, and become be, stay relevant with users as you know, you know, software and new applications and you know all these pieces, you know, uh, you know, tend to say I don't need to worry about what the underlying infrastructure is. I'll, I'll take care of that for you. Well, it's a good question, and, and the answer is that there's always going to be CPU, there's always going to be memory, there's always going to be I.O. That part's not going away. The, the, the solution that vSpecs brings is, how do you make that part that's not going to go away easier to deploy, more reliable, and, less, and take all the risk out of it? You know, in, in a way that allows the business to consume what they need and not more than they need, right? And, and so you can think of uh, vSpecs, if you want to, as a platform that delivers Software and so uh, EMC is delivering software. Uh, our you know backup products, our data protection products. Uh, VSpecs is a perfect environment for us to deliver those that that value to customers. But it's also made more valuable by the ecosystem of technology partners that then go into VSpecs Labs. And it's not just marketing. We don't just say it works. We actually go and test and prove 
that it works. Because right at the end, you need three things, right? You need, you need a real capability that adds value. You need to prove, you need to make the solution bigger than any one company can, can build. You need a, some method of proving and validating that things work on your platform. And then uh, you also need some mechanism to promote the solution and a channel to deliver it to the customer so that, so that real IT businesses, real businesses can consume the, the technology. And that's the value of vSpecs. In the end, vSpecs is that delivery mechanism, is that ecosystem, that environment, as well as the technology. Of course, we're interested in, in, in providing the technology, but the strategy is, uh, and, and the value to customers is more than just the technology. Right. So, so Gary, you mentioned that Scale.io is going to be part of the portfolio in, in, in vSpecs. When I think Scale.io, I think scalability, and I think about I don't necessarily need a storage array um, because you know, Scale.io is uh, what, what we've defined as what's called a server SAN. So you know, I, I, can, I can bring internal storage and the, 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 the storage layer will take care of things, but it's not a you know, separate array built only for, for that. So I, I, I'm, I'm curious how, you know, is, is Scale.io just a block service uh, that you're going to be offering? And what is the, you know, and I guess the, the follow-up, I'll ask you the second question is, um, you know, the scalability story for vSpecs, because for the most part, when I think about vSpecs, it's, you know, a single, you know, block at a time or something Look, like that. The, 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 uh, EMC's, we're, we're, you can see our vision, right? We understand that the world is going to the third platform. And, uh, you know, our opportunity here is to um, make solutions uh, that, um, uh, that that help help customers get to the third platform. Um, you know, I, I won't say any more about the, the solutions that are yet, that are coming. Uh, you'll see how they're positioned as, as we announce them. But um, you know, I mentioned that 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 you can think of vSpecs as a mechanism to deliver. Um, more than just the technology, but to deliver an ecosystem of value that allows customers to reduce risk and, and, and go from idea to offering faster. And so, um, you know, this is all part of a larger strategy that, that helps us to, to solve real world problems. Okay. Um, it, would it be fair to say that today most vSpecs are, you know, is it a single block or customers buying repeat? You know, where, 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 where is that in the portfolio? So, uh, if you look at, um, you know, most vSpecs, most customers, you know, the, the when, when customers choose converged infrastructure, usually there's a couple of different projects that, that they start off with. It's either consolidation, maybe a VDI, or a special project where they're uh, implementing a new application they want to really use a cloud-like infrastructure. Um, that means that they typically start with one infrastructure. But what you'll find um, is that there's a number of um, uh, uh, customers who after they get their feet wet and they learn how to manage uh, cloud infrastructure, uh, it becomes their practice. It becomes the way they do business. And so, uh, if you look at um, like a managed service providers, there's a, one called uh, uh, ProMedia uh, out of uh, out of the East Coast, and they manage IT infrastructure for school districts. They deploy these vSpecs school after school and manage them using a technology partner that's also validated on vSpecs called Vistara. Right? And if you think about it, it it's pretty cool, right? It, it, it means that we're elevating infrastructure from being infrastructure to being a service that's not only manageable by the IT practitioners, but it's also managed as if it were a private cloud, even though it's on my data center. Right, and so that's a kind of innovation that, that happens when you have an ecosystem of partners who can innovate, work together, and you know, dream up these solutions that, that didn't exist, right? And no one, it'd be very difficult for any one company to, to, to dream up that story, right? Uh, managing school districts. Uh, data centers as if they were an external private cloud, but on premise. It solves tons of problems, and it's, it's frankly, I think it's something that, I, I just found that one to be very innovative, really interesting, and uh, timely, right? Because with all the you know, privacy concerns and uh, trust concerns, uh, having your own private cloud, but still managed, that's neat, right? And all done with vSpecs, multiple data centers, it, it's, it's really neat. No, it, it, it's a great story, Gary, and what, what I like is, you know, EMC's you know, committed to convergence, but you've gone way beyond the convergence discussion. It's about the applications, about solving solutions. As we said, we're, we're focused on solutions here. So, you know, I wonder, can you put a bumper sticker, you know, what is, <laughs> you know, what should be people be thinking of when, 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 they, when they think of vSpecs? Uh, well, uh, you know, I, I'm not very good at bumper stickers, uh, but I mean, it, it, it flexible, efficient, um, uh, you know, and and, uh, and and trustworthy. I mean, we we are committed to the solution. Uh, you've seen that 
uh, you know, we launched the platform, we continue to refresh the platform, we're committed to our partners, and this is, you know, bumper stickers aside, I, I, what we really need is we, we, we want people to believe that this is something that they can invest in and trust that, that it will continue solving problems, right? So that's, that's very All right. Hey, don't worry about the bumper sticker. Glad you, you, you guys are bringing us some of your channel partners, some of your technology partners. Happy to dig into to this solution. So, uh, Gary Garcia, thanks so much for joining us on theCUBE. Uh, you're a veteran now uh, of the event and uh, always, always good to catch up with the vSpecs team. Uh, we will be back with uh, our continuous coverage uh, from C EMC World 2014. And uh, one last trip plug, just check wikibon.org slash SLI, which stands for Software-Led Infrastructure. We've got an entire segment uh, uh, it covers all the converged infrastructure solutions out there, and you can, you can always ping me. I'm at Stu on Twitter. Th thanks so much. We'll be right back with our next guest. <laughs>